How do you attach climbing holds to the climbing wall? In the last video, I talked to you about the T-nuts that are installed in the back of climbing walls to hold these little babies on. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the rest of the hardware that you need to attach these holds to the wall. And it's not just straightforward as, here's your bolt. There are several different other bolts. You have the pan head, or the button head socket cap screw. And then you have the martini bolt, which I actually don't have a martini bolt here to show you, so here's a picture. Now, it doesn't just stop there. You also have screw-on holds and adapters to fit any type of hold to make it a screw-on. Thank you for watching Climber Dad. Let's get started. Now cutting straight down to it, the bolt that you want is going to be a 3 8 by 16, that refers to the thread, and it is a socket head cap screw. That is an Allen key. The size that you need for your Allen wrench on this is going to be a 5 sixteenths. This is from Escape. It's a pretty nice uh, Allen key. We used it quite a bit. There are all kinds of different lengths that you can get in this. And to determine the length that you need, you want to have 3 quarters to an inch and a half at the max sticking out past this. And I like to have it right around the 3 quarters. In the back of the wall, the more thread that you have exposed, the more opportunity that you have for things to bung up or damage this thread. So when you start to take it out, it will tighten down and then strip the T-nut out of the back of the wall. So ideally, you want to have just a little bit of threads showing through here. So when you take that bolt out, there's not a lot that can get caught or damaged with the threads that have been exposed during the time that the hold has been on the wall. So if you look at that, we got seven eighths right there. This is the perfect bolt size for this hold. Now, what if you have a very small hold like this guy? There's not enough room for the head to go down in here. This is where a lot of people will use the martini bolts. The martini bolts will sit flush with the surface. And I don't like them because of the diversity. If you have a hold that is designed for a martini bolt like this black one here, you can only use martini bolts with this hold. If I were to take a martini bolt and say throw it in this hold, it's definitely gonna mess up this hold. You're kinda at the mercy of the shapers on this. Guys, so if you have a hold that's designed for martini bolt, you need to use a martini bolt. You have a hold that's designed for a flat head bolt, so meaning where the head meets the washer is flat, and you need to use something that is flat. So I have these pan heads that I use, and then it just blends in with the hold. Okay. Yes, it, this does not work, it's a different size, but that's okay. Escape makes those too. You can get these in different places. It is a 7 30 seconds. So, that's the different types of bolts that you have. Now screw on holds, you wanna get something that has a little bit of thickness to it. I get these construction screws. I'll have a link down in the description where you can get these. And you need to have at a minimum of three quarters of an inch of screw coming out from behind 
the hold. And I like to go a little bit further on this. I like to go out about an inch is nice on these holds. Let's talk about these Lone Stars here. These are a really nice feature that allows you to take any type of hold and turn it into a screw on. So this is designed to fit down in here just like the head of a bolt and then you take a screw and screw it in. Now this screw is definitely too long for this but for demonstration purposes to show you that's what it would look like. Now if I'm using this in place of the bolt I don't want to use just a one and a quarter inch screw because I don't think that there's enough. There's obviously it's not going to grab anything here. Uh, I would go with a two and a quarter or a two and a half inch screw for this, which I will have some thread sticking out the back. And then I also like to have a minimum of three screws per hold if it's just a screw on. So with this guy, I would add some screw holes here and here if I was to turn this into just a a screw on or using this guy. So one last thing that I forgot to mention is what finish should I get my bolts in? And that comes down to a, a question that you need to ask yourself is how corrosive is the area that I'm putting this in? Is this going to be outside? Is it going to be rained on? Is it in an area close to the ocean where things tend to rust easy? Zinc plated bolts are going to be a lot more corrosive resistant, meaning that the bolts are not going to rust as easy as the black ones. If it's out in the rain, go with the zinc black if it's indoors climate controlled. Attach climbing holds to the climbing wall nice and easy. If you like this video or if you have any comments, questions, please uh, comment down below. I'll answer those. And if you need any of these parts, hardware, tools, I will leave a link down in the description below on that as well. And I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad.